for Philadelphia mob boss Joey Merlino. Pennsylvania's Gaming Control Board has been asked to bar him from the state's casinos after he recently began frequenting a couple of them. Yeah, on one visit, a fight broke out. In tonight's Fox 29 Investigates report, our Dave Schratweiser has the inside details on why he could become the first mob boss banned from PA casinos. We just get a quick comment. No one would ever accuse mob boss Joey Merlino of being camera shot. Get my six pack back. Whether it's on the street outside the federal courthouse or out to dinner in a hockey game, Merlino carries himself as a public figure, even posing for pictures with guests at his South Florida restaurant. This spring and summer, Merlino has been making the rounds and getting his picture taken at local casinos, from Harris and Chester to the Sugar House in Philadelphia, where he likes to go for a little late-night blackjack with his pals. But that could soon be over. When Merlino came here to Harris Casino in Chester back on Saturday, June 18th, he was approached by agents of the Pennsylvania Gaming Control Board. They wanted to give him this document, but Merlino refused to accept it and promptly left the casino. The document was a motion for the Gaming Control Board to bar Merlino from Pennsylvania's casinos because he's a convicted felon and identified as a member of organized crime. The document seeks to make Merlino the first mob boss or former mob boss to be banned from casinos here since they opened in 2006. When you got guys that have a reputation and, and a, a history of convictions, which seems to me it's fairly simple. You put the list together and you, and you ban them from the casinos. Pennsylvania's casino rules provide for an exclusion list. The list includes career criminals or professional offenders, cheats and other individuals whose presence in a licensed facility would be inimical to the interest of the Commonwealth or licensed gaming therein. But for some reason, until now, gaming officials never tried to ban Merlino. Mob expert and author George Anastasia notes that Merlino's been barred from Atlantic City casinos for 30 years. Even so, cameras caught him with some of his mob pals playing in AC back in 1998. I mean, I remember when the casino opened in, in Atlantic City, the, the early days, they just put guys on it. So why bar Merlino in Pennsylvania now? Well, let's go back to last March when the dapper Don was in town from South Florida to celebrate his birthday with some of his boyhood friends. He made a stop at the mob's new clubhouse at 11th and Jackson. Then later that night, Merlino and 12 of his friends headed for the blackjack tables in the Sugar House Casino. All sources say caught on tape by the casino's surveillance cameras. Well, we'll see what they do now that they've got a video of and physically being in there. Court documents obtained by Fox 29 say Merlino and his pals were at the blackjack tables here when a disagreement led to some words between the Merlino entourage and several others at the table. Things got heated, there was some shoving, and three punches were thrown before casino security was called to break it up. The documents say the large group of males, including Mr. Merlino, reportedly threatened the other group and threatened that they would wait outside for them. If you asked him about this situation, currently he'd say, look, I, we were out socializing, we were partying, and we went to the casino. What's the big deal? I wasn't banned. I was allowed in there. And he's right. At some point, Merlino shook hands with one of the combatants, and his entourage left the casino. Gaming officials say Merlino returned to the Sugar House June 17th, again with an entourage. This time, he was approached by casino gaming agents with that document seeking to exclude him. He brushed the agents off and left. Joey's not looking for trouble, but he likes to gamble. He goes and he's, he's, he's a social guy. Merlino is not the only high-ranking Philadelphia wise guy still allowed to visit the state's casinos. Reputed mob boss Joe Legambi isn't on Pennsylvania's exclusion list. Neither is mob boss Steve Mazzone and mob captains George Borghese and John Changlini. But some of Joey's one-time mob associates, like co-defendants Angelo Lutz and Ralph Abruzzi, are barred from Pennsylvania casinos. Now, Angelo Lutz liked to gamble. He's down in Chester. He's excluded. Angelo Lutz was convicted along with Merlino and Mazzone and all those guys in the, in the 2001 trial. He's on a list. They're not. You know, why is that?
Now Pennsylvania authorities appear ready to make a change. They filed this petition to exclude Merlino from state casinos a month after the March 9th incident at the Sugar House. They made three attempts to serve Skinny Joey with the papers at his home here and in Florida. They also tried to serve him at his restaurant in Boca Raton, all in an attempt to place him on the casino exclusion list. Gaming enforcement agents have now asked for a default judgment against Merlino, claiming he refuses to acknowledge these documents or accept them. If they get their wish, Merlino could be barred from casinos across Pennsylvania in a matter of weeks. Dave Schratweiser, Fox 29 News. Now, Merlino's attorney, Ed Jacobs, says his client has done nothing wrong, has not been properly served with documents, and is getting barred, quote, for no other reason than he's Joey Merlino.